Welcome to the Create on Your Campus channel. I'm Gemma, and today I've got a little project exploration for you. We're going to be working on weaving paper using the junk mail that comes in your mailbox. So it can look like lots of different things. It can be cards. Uh, these were cards I already cut up, or it can be packaged mail. Of course, make sure that your family's okay that you're cutting this mail up. And then we're going to be cutting that mail into little strips that you are going to weave together. And they are like this. So they often have um, two different colors depending on the paper that you're using, if it's double-sided. In this case, I have some that are blue on one side and pink on the other. So that's what I'm going to work with because I'm going to create a two-direction color pattern. You can let it be mixed up and have all your colors just mishmash together. It doesn't matter that way, but it can be fun to explore creating patterns in your weaving. So once you do the basic one, you'll figure out other ways that you want to go to express your creativity. So to get that measurement, we're going to use a ruler. So you're going to measure half an inch and that's where you're going to cut your pieces with scissors. So you're going to go half an inch across and then five, six inches down. And then I'm using tape and I started by, after I have all the strips, you'll want to have 12 strips all together. We're going to be putting them together like a big plus sign. And naturally, because we're putting together, one is on top and one is on the bottom. And that is what weaving does. It's an over, under, over, under process to assemble things together. I put tape on the back of mine so that I could hold them together because I'm going to weave holding it up for you, but you'll probably weave flat on the table. Then I'm going to start gathering my pieces. So I want to use pink on the top. So let's see. I'm going to, I'm, I pre-taped some of mine um, and I'm going to put, okay, we got, let's see where I put my pink ones. Okay, here we go. So I've got pink on the top and I'm going to put this pink next to it on the bottom and then I'm going to put this pink next to it on the bottom going the other way. So we're creating our over under pattern here. We've got this pink is under, this pink is over, this pink is under and then we're going to go into the next level and I'm going to add some tape to another piece. Oh, I see we got one already. So we got another one over and they're just next to each other. They're not on top of each other because we need the space between them to weave. And then I've, oh, I've got another piece here. So I'm going to grab that. I made my, my pieces of tape, which you can do into little folded double sided pieces. So we're going to put that one here. And we have one, two, three, four, five. We want to have seven going across. So I'm going to get two more. Let's see. And this one we'll put under. So I'll put this one here. And then I'm going to do one more. And this one, I'm going to switch my tape around. And I'm going to put the tape on the back here. Oop, this one wants to go curvy and sometimes during the time that you're weaving your pieces may go and shift in different directions. So now we've got our, our under, our over, our under, our over, our under, our over, and our under. So the next piece we add now we're going to be going, that was the vertical direction, now we're going to go in the horizontal direction. We can weave, let's see I'm doing, I'm doing blue. So we're going to weave our, oh that one fell off. I'll weave our pieces under and over. I wove them through every other one and then I'll put them close together and I'll put my little piece back on that I lost. Let's see. There we go. Whoop. So this one I have to put over. So like I said, it moves around a little bit because we're doing a free form pattern. Then the next one, because this one was under, I'm going to put the next one over. So we're weaving it through, under and over. That piece just doesn't want to stay. 
and under and over and under and over. So oh, it's trickier to do it in the air than it is to do it on a table. But I like a challenge. How about you? Okay, so we're gonna do, oh, I'll swip it, swip it over, switch it over because I went the, and that happens sometimes when you're weaving, you go in a different direction. So you could, now that we've got three on, we're gonna do two more. You could put tape on the back to hold that in place for you as you're going so that they don't move around so much. I'll do one more. Let's see, we're doing blue. So I'm gonna start under on this one and I'm, I'm doing it from the bottom. So we're kind of weaving from the middle going out. And it's just under and over. Even sewing has a weaving aspect to it with its under and over, so there's a lot. All right. And then I'll do one more. Did I get my, oh, I switched, yep. And then blue, and I'll do a blue down here, so I'm gonna go over on that one, and under, and over, and under, and over, and under. This piece always wants to go a different direction. Sometimes I feel like that. I wanna go a different direction than what everything is planned for. So that is your weaving. So you can, like I said, put tape on the back, and then once you have it all together, you can either leave it with these loose ends on it or you can trim them up. But do make sure to tape the back of your pieces together so that they don't move once you cut it. And that is our paper weaving. Hope you enjoy this project and give it a try. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.